things in it, not in a sort of um, uh, renting the path of neoliberalism and new labour sort of way, but just how useful is that term now, and what what sort of level of pragmatism did we get involved in that has caught up with us ten years later? So I'm I'm going to just call it. Should we dump the creative industries? I mean, actually, it should be creative industries. I'm really just going to talk about that idea of what creative industries and where it might have led us to, and also how we might get out of it. Because I think at, at the moment, I, mean, I should say that this thinking came out of a report I did for the Australia Council, uh, which is um, the Australian Arts Council, and they wanted me to look at the question of what's the relationship between arts and creative industries. And they, they seem to they seem to know what both of those were. And we did a little bit of it, it's 19 interviews with uh, artists and a few policy makers. And it was quite clear that nobody really knew what the creative industries were. I mean, everybody immediately stumbled um, arts creative, well, um, yeah, uh, we're part of it or we're not part of it or, you know, there's a real sense of, uh, am I for creative industries or... Am I art because I don't get any public funding? But what I do is art. So there's there's a real sense out there that people didn't really know what it was about. So I tried to get a sense of can we define it? And I would sort of retrace my steps with really, probably too far to the end of the camps and all that. Which we can talk about later if you want. <laughs> um, but I, I just thought it, actually there's a real confusion in different ways. That my second caveat then is that there's it's sort of what I'm going to say is a bit art reflective, but I'll try and rectify that to go along. Um, so I just thought that um, we need to look at, go back in again and look at what the creative industry is supposed to mean and what it's supposed to do. So dumping it in a positive sense, really. Um, I think, I'm just cribbing from these. But I think that shift, again, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people remember when. It first began to roll out in the early, late 90s, early 2000s. There was a whole, nobody quite knew what was in it. Is, that, is it creative? Now, is that the cultural industries? Is it is art in creative industries? Is it, uh, what's the Is it digital? You know, there's all these terms, creative and digital. What's that? Uh, art and, and then the, there was the, the cultural strategy within which there was the creative industries, and then there's a cult. It was really all over the place, and I don't see it as getting any any better really. The place I'm from, QT, there's uh, a few people there, Stuart Cunningham and others, who've attempted to give that some more systematic definition, which I might talk about later, but uh, I, I personally don't think they've, they've done it really, but I just wanted to try and retrace where where, where the power of creative industries came from. I mean, the first one, um, and John Newbegin's not here, but I mean, he's sort of story is that it was, it was a pragmatic move, wasn't it? It was a smoke-filled room, got to get the report on the minister's desk the next morning, um, you know, it's going to the treasury, creative sounds <coughs> more, you know, sexy than cultural, which is a bit arty and a bit, you know, so there's a pragmatic argument to it, which is obviously there, and that's fine. Um, but I think it actually res echo responded to a, a lot of deeper shifts that were going on there um, that maybe John was or wasn't aware of in some ways, and maybe the ministers were or were not aware of it. So, and I just try, try to think, you know, is it about this shift between from subsidy, subsidy to investment? You know, that was one of the lines. You know, we, we want creative industries, you know, it's, it's about commercial stuff. It's about the market, it's not about public sector, so it's, you know, it's that whole investment rather than subsidy thing. Was it analog to digital? There was a sense at the time, certainly, that it was about the new digital industries were changing the rules of the game and all that sort of thing, and um, you know, analog was the past and digital was the future. Was it intellectual property? Is creative industries really, is, that, is it about intellectual property? And that, obviously, in the def DCMS definition, that was quite there quite strongly. I'm sure you all know the core one is, you know, the individual talent and skills exploiting intellectual property. Or was it the information, is it about information and knowledge in some ways? Is it, is it part of that information knowledge economy? So all these ideas were swirling around. And I, but I, I think, I don't think 